Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The internet, this is Rock and Roll Spock Match with, with the first installment of segment Hidden Gems, which sadly that's the uh, best title I can come up with for the segment. Sue me. Um, for this inaugural segment, we will be discussing the film Big Trouble, um, a comedy from uh, 2002, which I was rather amused by. Uh, first off, uh, it's what, what's it about? Well, it's based on uh, a Dave Barry novel of the same name. Dave Barry being a uh, syndicated humor columnist based out of Miami. Um, it follows a mysterious suitcase and its interactions with a handful of Miami residents as well as those residents' interactions with each other. Uh, for the, char- the cast of characters and actors, um, Tim Allen playing uh, Elliot Arnold, who probably the closest to our uh, main character, um, Elliot is kind of described as in a, such a manner that makes him seem analogous to uh, Dave Barry himself as he mentions early on that uh, he was a columnist for the, for the uh, Miami Herald I believe it was but they're doing humorous stories but uh, circumstances uh, changed that and he's now running an ad agency as his son, uh, Matt Arnold, is Ben Foster. And then we've got uh, corrupt businessman Arthur Herc, played by Stanley Tucci. Uh, Rene Russo playing his wife, Anna Herc. Zoe Deschanel playing her daughter, Jenny. Um, as a drifter who has just come to town, uh, named Puggy is Jason Lee. In a rather, uh, actually rather charming role for him. Um... As local criminals stake the pre and Eddie Ledbetter, Tom Sizemore, Johnny Knoxville, respectively. As uh, a hitman named Henry DeSalvo, Dennis Farina. Not exactly the biggest stretch for Farina, but hey, he does the role well. And finally, as uh, Miami Police Department officers uh, Monica Romero and Walter Kramitz, Jenny Garofalo, and Patrick Warburton. Um, also of note is uh, Mike McShane of uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway fame as a, uh, a client of Elliot Arnold's that uh, seems to constantly be the, taking the brunt of karma in his appearances in the movie. Now, why did this movie flop? Um, I mean, there are numerous... It, it, you can never really say why a movie flopped. Um, it, uh, but... And this is purely conjecture on my part. Um... It was the trailers were released in 2001, kind of promising a late 2001 release. Um, then it, the release got pushed back uh, to 2002, quite possibly because of the events of September 11th, 2001, which not to I don't not want to spoil much of the plot, but there were plot points that I could understand certain you know, movie studios pushing. Uh, movies with plot points such as that back a little bit. Um, my opinion on the film. Um, it's a, it's fun, kind of quirky ensemble piece. Uh, good cast. Very uh, director who's proven himself to be capable of handling uh, ensembles. Uh, Barry Sonnenfeld, who did uh, the Men in Black movies, the Adams Family movies, and Get Shorty. Both his last th- the Adams Family movies and Get Shorty, in my opinion, proving he can definitely handle an ensemble. Um, it's definitely at least worth a watch, and if you can find it on cheap, which most likely if you were to find a copy of this movie somewhere, it most likely would be fairly cheap. Worth picking up. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, we'll be back uh, Wednesday for seeing, uh, barring any unforeseen uh, complications with the weekly TV roundup. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, look, follow me on social media. Links to my Facebook and Twitter are down below. And this is Rock and Roll Spock signing off, saying live long and rock hard.